you for watching. While uncertainty swirls around the election results, Americans voted in record numbers, as John mentioned. Tennesseans voted in record numbers. And 10 News reporter Cole Sullivan shows us those votes have historic implications. For the first time at the State House, a new kind of representation. Tori Harris from Memphis and Knoxville's Eddie Manis will be the state's first openly gay legislators. I will not deny that it is a milestone. For equality activists, the win marks more than a milestone in a legislature which has recently passed anti-gay laws. Why is this important? So to have members of the General Assembly who vote on those bills from our community could change the conversation about those bills. Across Tennessee, more people voted than ever before. Nearly three in every four registered cast a ballot in Knox, Cumberland, and Blount counties. And every vote made a difference. Take unofficial results, subject to change as provisional ballots are counted, from Fentress County, which show the first alcohol sales allowed in Jamestown squeaked by with a two-vote majority. She's not old enough to drink or even vote, but high school senior Ayanna Albright volunteered to work the Knox County polls. Her mom says she wanted to be a part of the democratic process, the process that's divided the country into red and blue, the process that's filled our Facebook feeds with angry comments. Ayanna wanted to be a part of that because it's the same democratic process that broke old records and brought new representation after Tennessee went to the polls. In Knoxville, I'm Cole Sullivan.